Rightio, this video is going to rattle a few cages and get a few keyboard warriors typing furiously to tell me how wrong I am. He is wrong. He is so wrong. But I think it's important that we discuss it. I'm hearing so many stories of people switching their superannuation funds into cash. And in this environment, I'm doing the exact opposite of that. I'm starting to switch some of my defensive holdings into growth holdings. And in this video, I want to explain to you exactly why. Hello guys, Brad here from The Guided Investor. Welcome back to another video. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button because I post regular videos about how you can do more with your money. So let me tell you why I think switching your superannuation fund to cash in the current environment is a bad idea. Firstly, selling down your assets now will crystallize your loss. And what I mean by that is, at the moment, you have what we call a paper loss. So you have the same amount of holdings, the same amount of assets, it's just that each asset is worth a little bit less. So the only way that you can realize that loss is by selling it out, because then you don't have that same amount of assets anymore. And this is what we call a paper loss, and you can crystallize a paper loss by selling. Let me give you an example. So if someone knocked on your door and told you that your house was worth $20,000 less than what you paid for a month ago, would you panic and sell it? No, you probably wouldn't. You'd probably tell that person, oh, it's not for sale, turn around, give them a kick up the bum and send them on their way. This is Sparta! But unfortunately, for some reason, people don't take this attitude with their shareholdings. Secondly, shares are currently on sale. So have you ever heard the saying that you should buy hats in winter and umbrellas in summer? Well, that applies to shares as well. You see, everyone is dirty on shares and fear is keeping them away. But to be a good long-term investor, you basically need to do the opposite of what everyone else is doing. And now that's really easy to say in theory, but it is hard to put into practice. Last year, when global shares were reaching record highs, everyone was happy to buy shares. And realistically, this is the time when valuations were stretched and you should have been cautious about buying shares. But now that the share price has pulled back, valuations are starting to look pretty good again, no one wants to buy them. Sure, I don't doubt one bit that share prices could go down from here, and if I had to have a guess, then personally I would say that yes, we are likely to see a share uh, pullback in prices from this point. But still, you're getting it roughly 20 to 30% cheaper than what you're getting it in February, so that's still a pretty good time to start buying. Number three, the world is not ending. I'm seeing a lot of comments lately from extremists out there who are saying that currencies are collapsing and economies are crumbling and therefore you should sell everything and buy gold. Well, these are probably the same people that withdrew all their money from the banks in the GSC because they thought the banking system was collapsing and stuffed it all under their pillow. And of course, that didn't happen. Unfortunately, in these times of uncertainty and fear, there's a lot of people out there who have little understanding of share markets and economies that listen to these comments and follow along. And, you know, track forward a couple of years and currency's still fine, the economy's still in play, the banks are still around, people have jobs, They've taken these extreme measures for no reason. Every time there's one of these events which causes the share market to collapse, it's unlike the last. But if we look back on history and look back at the share market, the Australian share market and most global economies, share prices have recovered and gone to new highs post these events. And I see no reason why this event will be different. I don't know when the market is gonna recover, I don't know how far the market's gonna drop before it recovers, but what I can say with fair certainty is that if you're in your 20s, 30s, or 40s, then you can't access your superannuation till you're 60. And I'd take a good guess to say that when you're 60, your, the share market is going to have recovered from this virus and be well beyond where it is today. So I don't think you should be switching to cash at this stage. If you switch to cash back when the market was at a high, then good for you. But that ship has sailed. However, if you do switch to cash, then make sure that you have a plan of attack as to when and how you're going to get into the market. Because leaving your money in cash comes with risk. The risk of being in cash is that one, you could miss the recovery, and two, if you leave your money in cash in the long term, then you're gonna earn next to nothing 
return on that money. And at the moment, inflation is higher than the rate that you're getting on cash. So that means that every single year, your money's worth a little bit less. Now that is a long-term risk that you have to consider. But that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're all staying virus-free out there and I will see you guys in the next one.